Livadia Palace, a mile outside town. Here, most of the conferences were held, and Mr. Roosevelt lived. The palace was built by Tsar Nicholas II and has 50 rooms. Now it bore the symbol of a new Russia. The conference room was ready. Russian MPs guarded the roads and directed traffic into the Lavadja Palace grounds. With the president at this conference was the most impressive group of high-ranking military and government officials ever assembled at an international meeting. Marshal Joseph Stalin. Prime Minister Churchill arrived with his daughter. They were greeted by Mrs. Bortiger. With President Roosevelt presiding, the historic conference began. The big three met again, 14 months after Tehran, each one holding power as great as any ever wielded in his nation, and the three together holding the immediate future of the world in their hands, each representing countries varying widely in background, viewpoint, and temperament. But both the countries and leaders united by a common desire for victory and peace. The Joint Communication Center was set up and handled all the messages of the conference. At the conclusion of the first part of the conference, with much of the work already done, the big three, surrounded by the chiefs of staff, with their staffs and civilian officials, posed for the cameras in the patio of Lavatio Palace. memorable picture. The three leaders with their highest state ministers behind them. <laughs> 